Hey guys, today's tutorial is going to be about how to create those kind of cloud letters that you just saw. We're not going to go about the motion tracking and all the other stuff. We're just going to be focusing on creating those kind of cloud letters. For that, we are going to be using Blender. So let's just start up the program and hop right in. Okay, guys, we're just going to be setting up our scene now. Um, first off, I'm going to switch to cycles. I like this more. I will be using the GPU computing because it's faster, obviously. Adaptive sampling and viewport denoising. Um, I know not everybody will be having optics as a denoiser. It's only available for NVIDIA RTX cards. Okay, and as next step, we are going to add a text. You can click Shift A to open the add menu, go to text and just click on it. After that, we are gonna push seven on the numpad. So we have the top view. In the top view, you can zoom in and place your camera as you want it. Press tab to go into edit mode. Just select everything and then we can write whatever we want. So This is what I'm choosing for the sake of the tutorial. And if you go in this tab with the little A down here, you can have all these options for your text. First of all, I'm going to change the font to something that I like a little bit more. As soon as you open it, you will have all the list with all your installed fonts. You can also choose a custom font. You will just have to search it in the directory. I'm going to choose iArial because it's a nice neutral font and I like it. What's quite important for doing these clouds, what you have to keep in mind is going to be this clouds going to get real puffy. So it's best if we put some kind of spacing between the letters. You can do that down here under spacing. We're just going to make the character spacing a little bit more. And also we are going to be choosing a little bit a thicker font. So maybe the bold, not bold italic but the regular bold. I'm also going to decrease the line spacing a little bit so it fits together more nicely. And I will align it to the center. After that, we're going to tap out of edit mode again. And then we need to give this text some depth. We can also do this within this tab. We just need to open geometry and extrude it a little bit. You can choose however much you like. I'm going to go with 1.09 meters. Yeah, I think this looks good. And after that, you only have to click right and convert to mesh. We go to the next step and this is adding a volume empty. You can again press shift A to open the menu and choose volume empty. You see nothing really happened. That's fine right now. What we need to do now is go in the modifier properties and add a mesh to volume modifier. Um, then we can choose the object and the object we are going to choose is the text. And as soon as we click that, you can see some kind of fog around the letters. This is exactly what we need. The next thing we will need to add is another modifier and it's the volume displays modifier. Then we can hide the text. So only the volume stays. Next thing we are going to do is add another modifier, the volume displays modifier. So then we're just gonna um, mess with these options here a little bit. For the density, we're just gonna keep it at one for now, but we will change the voxel amount. This is basically the resolution of our smoke or volume. Right now it's not that high of a resolution and it looks very blocky. If we increase the voxel amount, you can see it will slowly start to take form. Yeah, this looks way better, but you see it, it's way thicker than what our font usually look like. And for that, we can choose the exterior bandwidth and decrease it to zero. 
Now you see it has the same width as our font used to have. We're just gonna leave it like that for the moment and go down into the volume displays modifier. Uh, we're gonna be choosing a new texture. So just click the new button here and this automatically added a texture. We can call it clouds so we know which one it is. And underneath this tab, the texture properties, we can go and do some more settings. When you opened it, just click on type. Then we can choose a different kind of noise. For this, we are gonna be using the cloud. And you can already see in the viewport that our text has been distorted and displaced. This is exactly what we are going for. So to see a little bit better what's going on, we're gonna be hopping into the rendered view. So right now, not much is happening because we don't have any lights. So what I usually like to do is open the shader editor and load in an HDRI. So we're gonna go onto the world tab and here you can see we already have two nodes opened. Next thing we're gonna do is press shift A to open the add menu and search for environment texture. Here we can choose our HDRI. I got all my HDRIs from HDRI Haven. They are free and very high quality. We're gonna be choosing one that already has clouds so we can merge the fake cloud and the real cloud a little bit better. As you can see, we now have the HDRI in our background. The next thing we're gonna do is give the volume a material. For that, we're going back to the object tab and push on new when we have the volume selected. It already gives us a principled volume. This is exactly what we'll be needing. So, we change our view a little bit. First of all, we are going to be increasing the density. This basically defines how thick our volume or smoke or cloud or whatever is. And you can see it already starts to look a little bit nicer. So I'm just gonna pump it up all the way so we can see what's going on. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we choose the camera, go into the camera view and press N to open the menu, view and lock the camera to view. Now we can change our angle to the way we like it. I would like to choose a place where there is some uh, free space. After that, we are going to be unchecking this box again, close the window again. To move the text around, we will now need to unhide the text again, choose it and then we can rotate it again. So I'm just going to turn it facing the camera like this, put it a little bit more up and scale it up. Now that we got it how we like it, we will hide the text again and we'll be left only with the volume. Choosing the volume again, we can adjust the settings of our clouds. So first of all, we need to change the color to white. We want those clouds as bright as possible. Next thing we're gonna do is lower the density some more because these clouds are way too dense and don't really fit in our scene. After that we go back to our modifier tab um, and within here we can change the exterior bandwidth again because I would like my clouds to be a little more puffy and big. 0.04, yeah this looks nice. Next thing we can do is go again in the texture properties and play a little bit around with our texture. If we increase the size, you can see it gets uh, more blobby, more unified. If we turn it down, you can see it gets very, very tiny. Like you can't really see it anymore. But I think I will leave it around 25 or something. I can increase the depth a little bit to get some more details into it. Yeah, I think this looks great. So next thing we will need to be fixing is our lighting. You can see now our clouds don't really fit in here. So what we will be doing is 
opening a new window. So we will always have the random view right here. And here we're gonna be adding some kind of light. So I'm just gonna press Shift A again, choose light and area light. So I'm just gonna move this a little bit over here and then turn it up against our clouds. If we oriented it how we like it, we will go in the, in the light settings and pump up the power. So I'm gonna go with 10,000 for now and make the light a little bit bigger because I think it's, uh, it's nicer to have a big soft light than some small hard one. But we can see the light doesn't quite match our clouds around it. So we're gonna be moving it some more. Maybe we need to put it up and face it down again and increase the size some more. I guess you just need to play a little bit uh, with the positioning of everything and how you like it. But if you take your time, it will all come together. You will have to try out different things uh, and see what's work, what works for you. It all depends on your letters, the light position, the HDRI you've chosen and so forth. But I think I'm already quite happy with how it looks overall. Maybe we can go back in into the object shading, choose the volume again and maybe decrease the density a little bit. Yeah. That concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you wanna share your work, I'm gonna link our Instagram down below. So if you wanna send it to us or anything else, just write us there. Great, bye. <laughs>